Preparing for a role like Giselle, I like to read historical fiction that is around the same time period because it was first performed in 1841. I also like to watch videos of other ballerinas performing the role and I really enjoy reading reviews of different productions of Giselle because it gives me an insight into what the audience is thinking or what they see. Act One of Giselle is all about uh, being a real person and having real life problems. <laughs> and the dancing is difficult and she has to hold herself in a certain way, but still being youthful and happy and excited. And she feels all of these emotions to the extremes. Like when she's really in love and then she's really upset. And so there are a lot of these extremes in her acting which are fun to do. And the unique thing about Giselle is this is the only ballet I've ever danced where I die at the end of act one. Usually you die at the end of the ballet, which is two or three acts. So she does all this dancing in act one and she has this emotional death scene. And then you have to go, you have 15 minutes to get prepared for a whole nother act of dancing which is the supernatural, ethereal willy that she becomes. In Act Two, it's a very supernatural quality and the torso is uh, it's a lot more forward than we usually dance in class. And the arms always have to look like you're moving through water. And there are a lot of bores, so it looks like you're floating across the stage. So it gives that eeriness as everybody looks like little ghosts, which is fun but very difficult to do. As she's dancing, she sees Albra, her love, and he's so remorseful and sad and full of regret. He really and truly loved her. So she sees that in him and she ultimately forgives him for what he's done. And her goal through that whole second act is to keep him alive. It's a true love story. As the audience watches the ballet, I think everybody will have something that they can identify with. <laughs>